scientists tested the use of human urine for crop fertilization. A team of scientists from several institutions in Niger, Germany, and in the United Kingdom, it has carried out large-scale exploitation tests human urine is a natural form of fertilization of crops. It turns out to be human urine can be used as an effective and sustainable fertilizer. Moreover, research they showed that urine as a substitute for commercial chemical fertilizers can have positive impact on the environment. Nowadays, using urine to fertilize plants can be considered disgusting, even though this practice benefits farmers from thousands years. Current cultural conditions mean that farmers have to flee turn to expensive fertilizers to provide plants with the ingredients they need nutritional. Meanwhile, it turns out that these ingredients can be found in urine. In some places around the world, access to fertilizers is limited. Many farmers, such as in remote regions of Niger, are struggling depletion of nutrients in the soil, as well as with difficult conditions weather. All this affects the amount of crops. That's why the team under led by researcher from the National Institute of Agricultural Research of Niger, Panato Mausa, decided to revive the ancient practice used in some parts of Asia involving the use of urine as fertilizer. Research on the issue was published in the journal Agronomy for Sustainable Development. A group of Nigerian women volunteered to help Mausa and her colleagues test urine fertilizer on their farms. In the harsh areas of sub-Saharan Africa, women put more work into food production than men, but they have no control over the land or resources. They also do not have easy access to information. Women often receive fields that are most poor in ingredients nutrients on which they grow the basic grain of the region, pearl millet, Sencris americanus. The women named the fertilization product Oga, which is in Igbo means boss. This was intended to help overcome social, religious, and cultural, which make open discussion of human exploitation difficult urine and crop fertilization. The volunteers were then divided into two groups, the former continued to use traditional farming methods, while the latter continued she used Oga, with or without animal manure, on her plots experimental. Previously, training in safe use of this product. The production of industrial fertilizers usually requires intensive extraction of ores containing phosphorus and potassium. Burning natural gas at high temperatures, it sequesters much-needed nitrogen from the air we breathe, in one of the most energy-intensive pots relative to CO2 emissions of chemical reactions. Plants use all three of these elements, among others, for photosynthesis. Yet our urine is full of phosphorus, potassium, and nitrogen easily accessible form. Moreover, urine is relatively sterile when it leaves our body. All thanks to the ammonia it contains. All you need is store containers in urine between 22 and 24 degrees Celsius for 2 to 3 months to destroy the remaining pathogens that are able to withstand a long period of residence in an acidic liquid. Women were therefore trained in the process sanitizing and diluting the resulting oga for use. For the first few they used Oga in combination with organic fertilizer for years, and when they did, they were brave enough to try Oga itself. In three years, 2014 to 2016, in 681 samples of women who they used Oga and recorded an average 30% increase in pearl millet yields. The difference was so pronounced that many other women in the area also started use Oga. Two years after the experiment, it turned out that over a thousand women she began using this fertilizer for her crops. Oga is a low-risk, low-input fertilizer financial, ready to spread in the sandy areas of the Sahel a low-yield level of pearl millet, researchers wrote in their work. If societies started using Oga in countries industrialized, 
we could not only increase yields and reduce quantity fossil fuel resources needed to grow them, but also make our sanitation systems would be more sustainable. Groups of researchers in Sweden, the, the United States and Australia are also testing exploitation opportunities urine fertilizer. Millions of dollars a year are spent clearing our waste before it enters water to meet acceptable criteria regarding nitrogen and phosphorus, says Kara Beal, a researcher at Griffith University, discussing possible fertilizer testing in Australia. If we can close this loop with nutrients, this will be very reasonable from the point of view sustainable development, circular economy, and taking care of our planet emphasizes.